Tyne and Weir Fire and Rescue Authority's Integrated Risk Management Plan IRMP 2021-2024 Information about our proposals Introduction The Fire and Rescue National Framework for England 2018 requires all fire and rescue services to have an integrated risk management plan. The IRMP is the process used for making changes to the service and ensuring that the services are planned, designed and delivered in a way that balances available resources and community risk. Our understanding of risk is based on data and evidence and the IRMP supports decision making and future changes to Tyne and Weir Fire and Rescue Service. The proposals contained within the IRMP 2021-24 have been made following a comprehensive review of this data and evidence over several months. A response review team was formed to coordinate and undertake a comprehensive review of response in support of the Integrated Risk Management Plan process. The response review team assessed the existing and anticipated risks that affect our community to ensure our response capabilities proposed within this IRMP consultation allow us to continue to deliver our vision of creating the safest community for Tyne and Weir. In February 2019, a decision was made by the Fire Authority to carry over actions from the previous IRMP 2017 to 2020. These actions were as follows. Introduce a range of duty systems based on risk and demand. This proposal involves redefining the duty system operated on certain stations to better accommodate relatively low levels of community risk and the incident related demand whilst minimising the impact on attendance times. Adjust the staffing model to deliver a more effective and efficient use of resources. Within this proposal there were three separate elements. Adjust start and finish time of shift. This proposal is being reviewed as part of day-to-day -day business. Reviewing staffing levels at all stations. A decision has been taken not to moderate the staffing levels. Amending staffing levels in mobilising control. The element to amend staffing levels in mobilising control was concluded on the 12th of October 2020. It was agreed by Fire Authority to no longer look to reduce the control room by four firefighters. It was deemed too high a risk to reduce the resilience provided by the control operators. We are living in unprecedented times as a result of the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. With its wide-ranging implications and dynamic nature, this has resulted in the service often requiring equally dynamic actions and decisions to be developed and taken. We have continued to provide a resilient fire and rescue service to our communities, as well as contributing fully to the Northumbria Local Resilience Forum and Civic Society by supporting the public sector and other organisations. This leaflet presents a set of proposals contained within Tyne and Weir Fire and Rescue Services Integrated Risk Management Plan 2021-24 that reflect the current environment and an investment in the front line to ensure we are prepared for the future. We want your views. Communication, meaningful consultation and engagement with key stakeholders is an essential part of the change process associated with IRMP. Your input is valuable to us to help shape the changes and improvements to our service. Once you have read the proposals in this leaflet, it will be greatly appreciated if you could complete a short survey containing five questions, which should take no more than five to ten minutes. The consultation closes at 1200 hours on the 11th of August 2021. This survey forms part of the wider programme of engagement and consultation, and all feedback will be fed into the IRMP consultation programme for consideration to inform the final IRMP actions. We would like your views on the following four proposals and your view on the overall IRMP 2021-24. IRMP Proposal 1. To introduce an additional fire appliance. Following a comprehensive review of risk and incident data, we commenced a pilot in October 2020, introducing an additional fire appliance or fire engine into our fleet. This appliance was based at West Denton Community Fire Station which was identified using extensive data and risk information as the optimum location for this resource. Following continued review of the pilot, the service is proposing to keep this additional appliance at West Denton Community Fire Station on a permanent basis. 
This represents a positive investment in resources, creating an additional four crew manager roles and 12 firefighter roles, and will enhance operational response and resilience across the service area. Proposal 2. To primary staff the service's aerial ladder platforms, ALPs. Aerial ladder platforms, ALPs, are used to respond to various incidents at height as a result of IRMP 2014-17 and at a time when there were successive requirements to save money as a result of significant and prolonged budget cuts to Tyne and Weir Fire and Rescue Service, it was agreed to reduce the number of ALPs from 3 to 2. Currently firefighters staff both the primary fire appliance fire engine at the station and also the ALP. When required, ALPs are crewed by those firefighters, meaning the primary fire engine becomes unavailable to attend emergency incidents. Following significant national incidents and a review of risk and demand data in Tain and Weir, we are proposing to primary crew the two remaining ALPs. Proposal 3. To change the current shift arrangement at Burtley Community Fire Station. Current staffing arrangements in the service include a combination of on-call, day-crewed close-call and 224, two day shifts, two night shifts, four days off. Following a legal challenge of the DCCC staffing arrangements in 2018, the High Court declared this arrangement is unlawful and subsequently directed all FRS to change these arrangements in the absence of any local collective agreement with the Fire Brigades Union. No such agreement has been reached between the FBU and TWFRS. Therefore, we have to propose and implement an alternative staffing model at this station. To meet this ruling, we are proposing to change from day crude close call DCCC shift system to day crude shift system at Berkeley Community Fire Station. This means this station will be crewed full time for 12 hours during the day and fire cover will be provided by neighbouring stations at night. Proposal 4. To change the current shift arrangement at Rainton Bridge Community Fire Station. Current staffing arrangements in the service include a combination of on-call, day crewed close call DCCC and 224. Two day shifts, two night shifts, four days off. Following a legal challenge of the DCCC staffing arrangement in 2018, the High Court declared this arrangement is unlawful and subsequently directed all FRS to change these arrangements. In the absence of any local collective agreement with the Fire Brigades Union, no such agreement has been reached between the FBU and the service. Therefore, we have to propose and implement an alternative staffing model at this station. To meet this ruling, the service is proposing to change from day crude close call DCCC to the 224 shift system at Rainton Bridge Community Fire Station. How to have your say? You are invited to complete a short survey which should take no more than 5 to 10 minutes to tell us what you think of these proposals. The survey can be accessed at www.twfire.gov.uk. If you have any additional feedback or questions on the proposals of our IRMP 2021 to 24, you can email consultation at twfire.gov.uk. If you would like this document in another format or language, please contact us to discuss your needs. For further details, please contact 0191 444 1500.